In this video, I'm going to show you how to take this image and turn it into a dynamic Elementor widget using unlimited charts widget. Let's get started. Today in the video, we're going to recreate this graph image that I've downloaded and we're going to make it a dynamic Elementor widget where you can edit the values and they will update dynamically. To do that, we're going to use the unlimited elements, unlimited charts widget. So I'm going to search over here for unlimited charts and I'm going to drag that into my Elementor editor. Over here, what we see is just an image. It's not editable. You can see that when I click on it, it says image and all the values are static. So what we want to do is use the charts widget to make this into a real live widget where you can edit the, the data. So first of all, unlimited charts widget has many kinds of chart types and you can always and at any point when you're designing and editing this move between the different types of charts and as you can see there's pie line bar donut polar area and radar chart so the first thing we're going to select a bar chart which is this but as you can see it does not look exactly the same this one is a horizontal chart and the image over here is a vertical one. So inside of direction, I'm going to change this to vertical. Next part is to start entering the data over here. Now the data is editable under the data set section. So I'm going to click on that once and over here, it's really important that you understand the hierarchy every chart has to have at least one data set over here in the chart currently there's only one data set and inside of the data set there are data items each chart can have multiple data sets and i'll show you how to make these because as you can see over here this chart has one two three four data sets so to do that, first of all, over here, instead of fruits, I'm going to call this the color green. Now the title is only for internal use and what users will see is the label. So I'm going to write green twice and in the title, just so you guys understand, I'm going to call this a data set dash green. Awesome just so we know that's a data set. Now let's delete the other data items and let's add a new item. Going to add a new item. And as you can see over here, we have an option to add item type. I'm going to change the type from data set since we already have a data set to data item. Over here in the data item, this is going to be representing the part over here for preschool. So I'm going to write over here preschool and also inside of the label. Let's change the colors. So I'm going to use the color picker to get this green color over here. And I'll use the same color for the border color and the hover colors. So we got our data set and we got a data item. Let's duplicate the data item. And now you can see that it's adding it over here. Over here, I'm going to call this primary because this is the next part. And the last one is for secondary. Awesome. 
Awesome. The last part, we just need to enter inside the values. So let's go into preschool. And over here, the value is 4. So I'll change this to 4. Primary is going to be 2. And secondary is going to be 1. Awesome. So we got all that set up. Now I'm going to create another data set that will be for the color blue. Let's duplicate this data set, move it to the bottom. Each data set, the data items are going to be assigned to it as long as they're under that data set. So let's write over here blue and also in the label. And now we can start duplicating the preschool one and move it down. And let's actually go into the preschool one and get our next color by using the color sampler. Again, I'm going to use the same color for the rest of the parts over here. And now we're starting to see the data sets and the data items representing over here inside of groups. Let's do the values. Oh, let's just duplicate this into preschool, primary, awesome. And we need one more, which is going to be for the blue secondary. So we got all those set up and now let's put in the values. So the first one for preschool is going to be two. For primary, it's going to be four, which I think is okay. And the last one is going to be six. Awesome. Let's add another data set. I'm going to add a data set for yellow. So let's duplicate the blue one, drag it on the bottom of the items, and let's change it to yellow. Looking very good. Now we can add data items as we did before. So I'm going to duplicate this one and move it under the yellow. Now it will be assigned to yellow. Let's get the color by using the color picker. Move the color to all the different values. And of course, you can add different kinds of hover effects and stuff like that. And I'm going to duplicate this twice to add them to the different groups. Let's go over the values. So the first one is preschool, that's going to be five. The next one is going to be for primary. So let's write the title and the label. And that is going to be six. And the last one is for secondary. and the value is four. Awesome, last data set. So I'm going to duplicate this one, move it down, rename it. I'm going to call it red. And we can duplicate one over here, move it down, color picker, get that red color, duplicate the red color over here to all the values. And that's looking really good. Let's set the value to four, then duplicate this. We're going to call it primary. The value is going to be three 
and this is our last data item over here I'm going to call it secondary and I'm going to give it the value of 4 so as you can see this is starting to look very very good let's go over the different settings and see how we can customize this a little bit more to achieve the layout exactly like it is over here so I'm going into the legend settings and instead of on top as it's over here I'm going to set it to the bottom let's see how that looks awesome this is even looking even better over here inside of uh, the tooltip you can also set all sorts of settings if you need to right now I think this is looking okay or maybe I'll change it to show uh, all the items in the same data set so right now I can see when I hover over green I can see how it's in preschool and primary and secondary we're just going to need to change the text to white so we'll do that in the style tab let's jump into the style tab and in the tooltip we have the text color let's change that to white and look how cool that is so now we're in, we're hovering over green data set we can see all the values inside of preschool inside of primary school and inside of secondary school this is very cool next part what I'm going to do is work on my lines over here so let's jump into grid lines and what I think I need to do is take off this line over here so I'm gonna give it a white color that's the y-axis let's give it a white color awesome and maybe we need to get rid of this middle colors as well so these are going to be white as well or maybe these I think these need to be darker actually and this one needs to be white okay perfect so we got our grid set up exactly like it is over here and I think we're about done the last part is going to be just for adding a title so we'll do that inside of content show title I'm going to write over here fave or it color and I think that inside of the style tab we can go into typography center that make the text bigger and we're all set to go so look how nice that is and how it looks so similar to the image next part I'm going to click and I just want to show you that when we move from a bar chart to a pie chart for example look how fast that adapts and it shows us a different kind of chart or for example let's move it to a line chart and now it's showing a comparison of all these different values let's bring that back to bar chart and over here in the style tab we have an option to change the width of the bars if you want to or you can even stack the bars which is a different kind of representation for the same values inside of the data I hope you guys enjoyed this tutorial and I'll see you in the next video.